So one type of assignment that may be um, included in Canvas is called Edpuzzle. An Edpuzzle is a video your teacher will assign that will have different stopping points with questions or um, notes that they want you to, or something they want you to do with the content that you just watched. So I'm gonna show you what this type of assignment looks like from the student point of view. So I'm gonna collect or select Edpuzzle Bridge Riddle in my Canvas course. When I select this, the video loads. On the right, there's a to-do. It shows what, um, where the stopping points are and what is, um, what I'm gonna have to do. So there's open-ended questions, there's multiple choice questions. I am going to select play. I have the option of closed captioning. Now, if I try to fast forward, it's locked. I can't fast forward. I have to watch the video up until the point of the questions. So once I actually get to the question, it will pop up and then I can respond to the questions. When I select the question, it'll say next or continue, or I have the ability to rewatch the video if I'm not sure of my answer. I'm gonna select, and this one had multiple answers at our questions at this piece and then submit. It'll give me some immediate feedback as well. So if I notice I miss them all, I can re-watch that section of the video or I can just continue. So with Edpuzzle, it tracks your progress your teacher can see how much of the video you have watched. So even if you're able to fast forward, this one was locked. Even if you're able to fast forward, your teacher will see, no, the video only really showed, um, the student really only watched about 10% of the video. Your teacher will be able to see your responses and grade them and provide um, some feedback. In order for your submission to fully count, you must watch the video all the way to the end of the video. So even if the last question, there was still a minute left of the video after the last question, you still need to watch the whole video. Once you are done, you can select next to go on to the next activity in the module, or you can select module or home to return to the rest of Canvas. And that's a brief look at um, Edpuzzle.